budget a break. <laughs> you get it? It's not exactly what I had in mind, but... Visit budgetbreaks.com. Break started at just 100 bucks. The beautiful weather that we've been having lately, the warm days that we've enjoyed, have me very eager for spring. I'm sure you're in the same boat. So I've begun looking around my house, thinking about things I can plant in the yard, maybe some renovations that I want to do. The perfect time of the year once again to welcome the Tri-State Home Show to the Convention Center. And this morning, we welcome Casey Lewis, who is with Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union, a gold sponsor once again for the, the Home Show. Good to see you. Good to see you again. Neither one of us uh, is old <laughs> enough. I'm almost there. <laughs> Uh, to have been there for every of the 56 years that the home show has been coming our way. But each year, I think, Casey, it gets bigger and better. It does. Um, and you can find anything there from, you know, home renovation teams, uh, new construction uh, companies that are there, new windows, exterior siding, lighting. There's a little bit of everything there for no matter what project. Uh, you have going on around your home. It's really interesting if you're around Chattanooga or Hamilton County, North Georgia, you can't really throw a stick <laughs> and not either find somebody who's doing a renovation or a new build. I mean, it's just, a, we're, we're a booming area uh, when it comes to home improvement. So I'm guessing, I mentioned, uh, thinking about even things from my yard, you see a little bit of everybody at the home show. You really you? do, yeah. Um, so. There's going to be uh, companies there that service strictly exterior lighting uh, to possibly you're looking to put in a new patio, mm -hmm. uh, pool, pavers. Um, so they have a little bit of everything there. I think it's nice, too, that it's the three days because a, a novice maybe would mm -hmm. say, oh, let's just go one day. Mm -hmm. And then you become a veteran uh, consumer and you realize you need to go the first day, come back home, take a look <laughs> around and then go back to ask even more questions. You really do, and whether you're there just getting advice uh, from these companies, or you're there, you know, generally inquiring on, you know, what they can do for your home, depending on your home's needs. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of learned this firsthand uh, the other day when I was doing a home renovation project and hit a free online in the wall. Oh, no. um, I was like, ooh, maybe I should have hired someone for this. <laughs> um, but you know, opportunities like the home show to ask those questions. Uh, and make those contacts really come in handy when you're then looking to complete that project. Well, let's talk about the credit union being the gold sponsor once again. You're not doing that just for kicks and giggles, but it's because <laughs> you believe so much uh, in the community being strong. And you all have got a great mortgage program at the credit union. We really do. So we offer everything from, you know, our loans to get members into their homes for first times to those members who are looking to do home renovation projects. You know, let's talk home equity lines of credit. Let's talk second mortgages. Um, right now may not be the best time to you know, refinance your home, but let's run some numbers without pulling your credit and see if it does make sense for you at the end of the day. Um, so that way we're not only setting you up to reach your goals, whether that be to renovate your home, but let's make sure we're setting you up for financial success. We've been doing some uh, conversations with members of the credit union. We had this little segment called Know Your Dough uh, last month. And one of the things that we discussed was the importance of zeroing in, not only on how much you might be borrowing or spending, but on the interest rate. It's really, because over the long haul, you could potentially pay a lot more money. Right. Are you seeing people come in concerned about those interest rates going up? We are, so we definitely are getting those concerns because we've come out of these last two years of historically low interest rates. And while rates you know, aren't as high as they've been in the past, they are high compared to the last two years. So really taking advantage of some of the programs that we offer, um, whether you're buying a home, come talk to us about our portfolio loans. Mm -hmm. um, what that means is we keep them in-house and our partners at True Home Solutions service them for us. Uh, with our portfolio products, we waive PMIs. So there is no private mortgage insurance um, on our portfolio loans. Wow. And some people uh, watching might not be a member of the credit union and think, well, I couldn't possibly access that. It's very easy to become a member, right? It is. So um, as long as you live, work, or worship within our areas that we service, um, or if you know somebody who's a member of the credit union, you're eligible for membership. Um, we would love to talk to you, whether you're a current member or maybe a future member, about what can we do to help set you up for financial success, whether that be in my department, real estate, you know, 
investments, commercial lending, um, come talk to Tennessee Valley. Uh, we have quite a few programs that we offer to our members. When you are there at the home show, I know you were a part of it last year, I think, too. Yeah. Uh, and you see all these different vendors who are welcoming potential customers mm -hmm. to, to come and talk with them. You kind of just sit back and think, wow, this is how America works because it's small businesses at their best. It's amazing to see the interactions uh, that not only the consumer and businesses are having, but really the interaction of people are just there to help. Mm -hmm. So, you know, even if you're not going to utilize their product or if you're not going to go through their company, they're there to genuinely answer your questions and make you feel more comfortable whether you choose to go through them, another company, or do it yourself. The convention center is a big space. Once upon a time, I think that the home show would have kind of a kids area. Yeah. I know sometimes there's a lot of goodie bags being given <laughs> yeah. out. That's another good reason to go. Do you know if they have anything uh, planned for kids this year? Um, so each booth typically will have something fun and creative. I know uh -huh. last year when we were there, uh, walking around there was Plinko uh, that the kids could play and wherever you landed you got a prize. Okay. Um, we gave out like fidget toys last year so there's at each booth something unique mm -hmm. um, whether it be you know a free giveaway, a pin, or information to be received um, each booth would typically offer something. It's not, it, if you choose to go all three days mm -hmm. I believe you just pay at the door each time you come there's not a like a weekend rate. Yeah so you can either purchase tickets um, ahead of time or purchase them out at the door. Mm -hmm. um, this is, like you were saying, the 56th annual home show. We'll be there February 24th through the 26th, so all weekend long. Um, so definitely come out and visit us. At the Chattanooga <laughs> Convention Center. So bring a notebook with you. I'll, another recommendation I'm sure would be to take measurements of your home before you come. Know the direction your house faces, all those key things because you'd hate to get down there talking to somebody and then have to pause a moment and not be sure. Um, and bring also something to take all those business cards home yeah. with so that you'll know how to get in touch with people. Casey, thank you so much. Thank you. Can I tell you happy birthday on the air? Yeah, of course. Happy birthday. <laughs> thank you. So. Uh, we, all, we enjoyed having a, a fun talk with Casey. Mondays always bring us our dad joke of the week. So here's our own corny dad and good friend Jason Wright with today's installment of your dad joke of the week.